Hi everyone, this is Aedot of Triton. We're back again with The Walking Dead Season 2. Now, I am sorry. I have tried and the resolution is a bit difficult, but this game caused so much friction with all my other games, literally every single one of them, that I had to sort of find a middleman. But okay, enough of that nonsense. Let's keep going. Let's play. We're gonna start episode 2. Oh man, we're gonna find somebody. We don't know. Uh, we're gonna find somebody from the previous episode. We know it's not Omid. We know it's not. Cri well, it could be Krista. We don't know. Um, could be anybody. It wouldn't be Lee. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see. Let's load up. Now, we know this is after 400 Days DLC, so Vernon is also not a possible candidate because I think he passed away if his group was left alone with Roman. Roman! One of the last Romans. Ah, oh, it's here. Freezing. Mm. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. The yummy weasel. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. <laughs> That's Bullshit. him. Christa, we got him at the river. I honestly think that man tried to help me at the very end because he pulled me away from the zombie. They didn't show the dog. I'm out. Trevor, let's go. Go, Pete. I can't remember the other lad's name. I want to say Travis, but I don't think it's Travis. Alvin, Nick. So, since you're what's your name? What's your plan? Maybe I could stay here for a little bit. Yeah. If that's all right. I've got no problem with it. Awesome. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver. What do you do? <laughs> you carve. <laughs> Hello. Woods with Krista. Please. Yeah, some water. Help him, help Pete. Pete's the practical one. He's got cargo pants with side pockets. Ouch. If if we could just find a way to get around the bites infecting people, we'd be all right. <laughs> it's true, you would be. Ouchies. Oh, got him down. Let's go hide in that container, I think, or something. Fight him, Nick. Learn the defense. Bad timing. Run. We're on the wrong side of the river. Nick. Oh, man. Where's the, where's the container? Where's the container, Pete? We got, oh, he's got a little hobble on him. He's got a little hobble, but he's faster than they are, so he's a real trooper. He can still go faster than them, even with a hobble. Fast three-legged man. Oh, um, one and a half legged, let's see. Ooh! It's got dirty. It's got a lot of dirt on it. It's not very clean. Oh, it's not a container, it's a truck. They are very strong zombies. Like they are really ripping into that truck. Like, just look at the shaking. It's a lot of shaking. Shaking. Oh, shaking. Oh, oh. On the downside, we can't get through them. Dang. Well, not with that attitude. Get your fighting gear ready. Look, he's in big trouble. He's ran a distance, so... You better get cutting if you wanna not take your chances. Staring ain't polite. Come on out and say it. How are you feeling? Well, other than this <sighs> fight, I'm just Took me a while to get through his accent. Staring ain't polite. I had no idea what he was saying for a while. Uh no no, it's worth a shot. I mean, it's his philosophy. Pete, you gotta live by your own philosophy. You said, let's cut off her arm. <laughs> so, time to show. Oh, goodness, he's not even hesitating. Dude, whoa. You had another level. He's gonna need help. Well, don't, don't, don't be a defeatist. But that looks like a bite. Just, just give me a minute. You want to live longer? I know. It's it's the same with Zomboid. It always feels so unfair when it happens. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of colorful stuff there at the dashboard. 
Hmm, let's give it a minute. Just give it a minute, let's see. Okay, here it is. The door. Let's look at the truck doors. Oh, I think there's something out there. <laughs> I think there's something out there. Okay, uh, what the? Are you serious that I managed to take my backpack? I'm so cool. I managed to carry all these things. I've got a carrying capacity. Sorry about that. Delicious. Delicious drink. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get some water. I was a bit mesmerized there. You need some water? Sorry, it's empty. Oh, I gave it to... Oh, because I gave it to the laying down man. Wow, consequences. Consequences of my actions. Because I gave him the water. Oh, no. This game, huh? Let's see if we can... Oh, there's keys. You can go shell on them. Shell style. Oh, let's see the radio. Somebody tried to make a colorful device out of it. Just fraying wires everywhere. Uh, well, let's look first. The keys are still in. Ursaku. Well, worth a shot. Yeah. Well, it's like two years. Somebody said, I think it was Rono Gaming. He said, what's it, two, six months or something? That fuel stays fresh in the tank? And then it won't really work anymore? Something like that. He's just much more clued up on everything. Oh no, I lost his face and his hand. Got anything left? Uh, let's see. Well, it seems. Oh, what's that? Uh, operation. What boom? Uh, it's a boom and a bust. No, wait, whoa, it's a, wait, whoa, wait, wait, whoa. Let's just uh, make. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I see. Let's just make hundred percent sure. Uh, okay, there's nothing. What a waste of time looking this way. Well, hacksaw it is then. Just, just, what the frick? I can't grab it. It's a hacksaw. Hey, here's a box. Original flavor. It's time to get drunk. Oh, it's just cigarettes. Give me one of those. Good. Uh, it's like that movie. There's this movie about a preacher in World War Two. I'm not gonna say anything, man. It's your, it's your, it's your, your thing. It's your thing. So you do what you have to do. Um, <laughs> she does not look like she really cares much. She's like, oh my god, this too. First, I have to give you a smoke stick, and now that. <sighs> Horrible. As bad as it smells. Yeah. Oh, a must taste worse. I have. We wait. I do not partake at all. I learned my lesson. And you have family that go through that. You're like, nope. No way. You don't touch it. That's the one thing I've learned from seeing other people smoke. Is breaking that habit it looks like an absolute nightmare. So I'm not even touching that. Not even getting close because I can see it takes a lot of willpower to break that habit. I think she's going to have a dream. The fever! The fever's taking me! Oh! I think he's just having nightmares. I don't think he's... I think it's just nightmares. I don't know about Pete. He probably has some background that's causing him some, some traumatic nightmares. Let's see. Hey, buddy? Hey, buddy? I don't think he's... I think it's just a, a nightmare. Pete? Pete? What's up with his eyes? What with the cough? I thought it was a fever. He's coughing like that. Or maybe it's his immune system that's just giving up everywhere. Huh? Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Pete. I thought I thought it was a scratch, but that's definitely a bite. I don't want to die. I'm sorry, Pete. I did not expect this. I thought Pete would be a long-standing stay in this game. I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. Why can I never protect them? That's the saddest part. I just want to protect them. I'm scared, Clementine. I know. What does it feel like? I can't say you're gonna be okay. It feels like like a rope is wrapped around my neck. Oh, and it's tightening slowly. Tighter every second. 
Oh man. Feels like I can't. You can see a bit of a vein there on the side. Can't breathe. Would you? Would you promise me? Would you kindly? I will. I will. You know it. I will. No, I'll, I'll do what I can. It's, he needs it. Pete will remember that for how long? Because Pete ain't doing too well. You know what the worst thing is? They might suspect I did something. Because... I'm not getting out of this. Think about it. I just got in. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Yes. With me. Yes, he is. What? Die a couple hours later than yes. To say goodbye to Nick. Yes. Like you could hobble that fast. We gotta try. I'll try. Yes, we gotta try because not only that, but think about it. If like Pete doesn't make say, it, we're burning daylight. Yeah, but how are they gonna trust Clementine if I literally come Let's back one with. day later and I'm like, oh, whoops, a Daisy, your ba your your coolest dude, he's just gone. Don't don't suspect me at all. They're gonna be like, no, something's wrong here. Yeah? Something's wrong here. Hey, you're coming around the drawer. Hey, he's hobble. I thought you had a hobble going. Let's get a hobble going. Go on now. Find my nephew. Uh, you have to try. You have to try. I said go. God damn it, go. Oh. The group, the people are not going to like it. They're going to be like, it's me. I'm, they're going to think I did something. They're gonna say I did something because that's just freaking logical. Nick, Nick just saw me run off with him, and now I'm coming back, and I'm like, oh well, he's gone. A house divided, indeed. I've got a good dog to me. I gotta say, you're getting fit. Is this the house? Looks like it. At least from this side. Oh, there he is. Hello. Did you bring fish? No. You are right. I bring bad news. Luke's not with you. Where's Alvin? What happened? It's Ooh. been hours. Where are they? Clem. Pete got bit. What? Why are they talking about Luke and Alvin? We didn't go with them. Thank God. Where were you? Where were you? Exactly. exactly. I thought. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Where did he go? I can't even remember him going with us. Like, I remember them walking. I told him not to go. Hmm. Damn it, Luke. I remember Alvin walking, but I don't remember him walking with us to the stream. Can you, can you I think you probably diverted ways. Yes. She's upstairs. Just distract her and don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. That face that she makes is very devious. She's like, ah, ah, ah. Or anything. We'll be back soon. Or anyone? Thank you. My pleasure. But the face that she makes is just like this. Ah, sure, you can trust me. I'll rob you for everything you have. <laughs> Say cheese. Hello. It's okay, man. It's just an old camera. There was all kinds of old stuff. Why were you under the house? Um, I'm quite surprised that she's not got the option to say you shouldn't go underneath the house. Uh, cha -ching. Hello. The photo of Lee. Uh, the face. Is this like a lying face? Yes, because it seems like every time she says something sort of devious, her face takes this whole mm, I, I type pose. Like she's planning something tricky. Huh? Are you planning something tricky? Is it meditation to avoid frustration? What's going on? Yes, is it a fish? 
Because we need the. Oh! Will you show me how to use no, no, I won't. I couldn't find any bullets. Yeah, that's good. If wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I know. I need to know sometimes. You should let your dad teach. Yeah, you'll decide that. Do. What should I shoot? Don't do that. Never, ever, oh, ever do that. Maybe I could practice outside. There's Don't no stop her. Hey, Luke's back. Um, that's just a shadow. So she could be guessing. Eep, a marauder. Gone fishing, that's true. Okay, well, oh, let's shift. Let's let's get a decent walk going. Okay, I can't go there. The house still has plugs, so that's good. It's good for the crew to have electricity. So, I don't think that's Luke. I don't think that's Luke. I think she just saw Shadow and she was like, Her. Don't bite your tongue. She's got a scary, scared pose to her, so she's not feeling too comfortable. I'm gonna have to. Oh, there we go. Clem, I think I know him. Who is it? He can't see me. You have what? to make him go away. What? Why can't he see you? Are you invisible to him? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, this is suspicious times for somebody just to come knock on your door. Um. Hello. Oh. Hello there. Hello. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. No, you're not. Neighbor? That's right. No, you're not. I have set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other. Yet. Two years in. You're no, you're not. Can I close the door? Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you. I only need a couple minutes of your time. To rob everything. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else? You're a neighbor. What do you mean no, it's a nice place? Big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Hey, you can talk to me, alright? No. No, oh, you'd be surprised well, if it comes down to it. I'm out looking for my people, seven of them to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. So you're coming into they my freaking house? A of farm boys and an old man, Spanish guy and his daughter, quiet girl, a bit taller than you. Big black guy, this big, and a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Wait a minute, didn't they mention something like that? I have a feeling they mentioned something like that, that somebody was in their group. I've got a feeling. Yeah, I, I think there was some mention of that. I can't remember fully now, but... There's a knife on the counter. I never said there's one person. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Yep, there you go. Good eyes. She's developing the sense. Listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Hell, I just got here and I already don't want to leave. Where do you live? Just gonna wait. Um. Sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. No. Up and everything else. No. Wait a minute. Yes, and I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. Do you have a dog? No, I don't. Oh. What difference does it make? Just wondering. Okay, so it wasn't that one. That that little piece made me wonder. Uh oh. Oh no. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Ah. <sighs> Where's Sarah hiding? Well, this is a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Oh, man. 
smell smug, son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to Let's him? just see. Let's just say we had our differences. So Whoa. Later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. What the heck? Oh, his, his pistol's unguarded, sort of. <laughs> Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? How should I know? I'm standing right next to you. How random, freaking, what was that? Uh oh. She was a bit too chill there. I thought you said nobody's here. I said that. Nobody is here. Oh man! Can you go to the kitchen. Oh, she's just following. Oof! Oh, oh, he didn't see which door was closing. Get the toilet. Get the toilet ready. This dude is obviously okay. The pretense is gone. The pretense of being friendly is gone because he's walking around with a drawn pistol. So he's broken the social convention. Nobody's here. Seems that way. No, you've broken it. All bets are off now. So now we can we can get to fighting. You've broken the social convention, my friend. No, no, my friend. We we we're fighting now. We're fighting now. I just have to arm myself. But we are in a, effectively in combat now because you have decided to draw your weapon. No. Who's this? Who's smiling there? Never seen her before. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? We're still running on the pretense that I don't know them. Watch out! Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Why shouldn't I trust them? You have a real good day now. He will remember this. Interesting. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? What's the arm? Why is she holding her arm like that? Oopsie. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was... <sighs> what? What did she say? A man. Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? No. Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. There we go. He's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name no, was? No, he refused to say. Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? No. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? Buddy, if you were there, you'd see why. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound uh, different? Yeah, he's, yeah, his voice was raspy and mustachy. Gravelly. Yeah. Very, very, like he smoked 50 packs a day. Scratchy. It was very scratchy. He talked about no scratch. No scratch. You're not going to hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice. Right. Again. <laughs> you know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Don't worry, he didn't see her. It seemed like he'd be coming back. Not close, though. He saw a picture of you. Oh, yeah. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Buddy, we we didn't plan this. What? You need to calm down. Right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Oh, thanks, Sarah. We had no idea somebody was gonna freaking come in there and search through the house. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. Yeah. She hadn't been there. 
Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. Oh, so this is why we left this awesome house. We're moving now. That's so sad. This is a good house. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. Let's but just see. Be okay. Let's just go get your things. Is he? He, he can't be Carver. Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is <gasps> a dangerous man. Oh man! He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry I crossed to freaking Carver. Him. Now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. <sighs> and I'm a, I'm still effectively in combat with Carver because he pulled a, a weapon on me. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody, grab your stuff. So it's it's the long game. It's the long fight. Oof! Looks like he had a bad day. This one, he's not having a good time. So just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. Oh, uh, your time much. will come. Your time it's will just come. A tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. <sighs> Ooh, yeah. Calvin let's. can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us? Oh. Story. Okay, I'm gonna delve into this you mystery. Have a hard time living. I know you did your best back there. <laughs> and doing other things. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. If I said I'm gonna, oh, I can't have this video. Not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. Used to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Oh yeah. Oh goodness. Do you need patience? Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? That's especially young kids. Man, you need a lot of patience. You develop it. That's for sure. But yeah, you need a lot of it also. There's a paper lying there on the ground at one of the zombies fight. There. That's where we were. Did Pete take them all out? Because I don't see the rest of them. Nick! He's not in here. Yeah. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Well, he's hobbled and go very... What? Yo, he's just showing emotions across everything. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. At least the tires are in good shape. That could be anybody. But it's still worth it to check if it's Nick. It's a lot of blood. Uh, let's Uncle see... Cause Okay, it seems like I can only go forward. And it's my, I'm panning out of vision, so. Anyone see him? Oh no! He didn't get far. Plus, his his head is still intact, so he's supposed to turn actually. Oh my god! Oh no! It's there you go, Carver. Somebody got him. What happened? Somebody what got him. Happened? Somebody shot him. Shot. Yeah. didn't have a gun who did this oh man we need to go I can't Let's believe go. we left that awesome house so fast that house looked like such a good setup with wood and everything come on man but maybe they just found it in an amazing condition this 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 awful why do, why do I always lose the people I try to invest in? The people that I like so much. It's always a straight shooting, hard working, good people. The salt of the earth, why do they always perish? He saved my life. Yeah, he's a good man. That was Pete. I'm sorry. Don't give up, Nick. It's not the time to give up. Pete would have wanted you to push through. For him, for his sake, P, for Nick. Nick, for, for Pete's no, sake, please push through. I you promise, Pete. Are you still want to come with us? Yeah, because Krista's gone. I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. Yeah, let's roll. I'll still look for Krista, but yeah, I'm with you guys. they'll probably remember this. There we go. I knew it, Luke. Luke will remember that. 
figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. He's got a good machete. It's gonna be okay, Ben. And the machete is the distinguishing factor between a true gangster and a, a fraudulent candy salesman. So you need a proper machete. You need one. It's the good stuff. It's the difference maker. Oh man, we more than five freaking days. How much longer can we walk? Now, why is that bridge buckling at the top? Bridges don't buckle just from time, they buckle from impact. So what the heck? And it's a top the top cord, so why the heck would that happen? The car wouldn't reach that. You make no sense, man. Where are I getting binoculars? We're well supplied. See anything? Well, I see the lenses of some binoculars. On the mountain. What's it look like? A lodge. It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. Mm. Here, eat this bag. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Yeah. It must be that ski resort. Virginia. So, we were in Georgia. Now we are in Virginia. Now I don't know where Kentucky falls in because Kentucky and freaking. It's all, all this, this the states. So. It's got to be passable. Good. It's a huge bridge. What's that? Hey, here's another house. A house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. So? Look, we just need to stay there for a day. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing. Okay? Why not? Spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Oh, that's Going true. Around that lake will take too long. Right, but. Look, we've got no idea who's out there. Good night, Fall. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's yeah, clear. Carver was unusually confident just strolling in there. A good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. Low and slow. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just. What do you mean cover? You are you planning to get into a prolonged gunfight or something? Should stay here. She's. She's what? Just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can yeah, do I can do it. See? No problem. Yeah, Luke will remember that. Carlos will remember see that. You guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with Nick. You. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? That's true, man. He doesn't like candy. He doesn't like barbecue meat. He doesn't even like a log fire. Carlos, why don't you like anything? Sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. I've got night blindness or something. He's still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been that makes days. sense. Why would Carver still be following us? He's my friend. I owe him some money. Even though money doesn't make any sense what at this moment. What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. Yep. It's a tough world out there without people. Fast and the Furious taught us so much. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. Mm. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Okay, let's see. Hey, uh, shh. Give him the choppy chop, Luke. Give him the soft choppy chop. Oh goodness, how is he still going? Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take him. Yeah, we're strong. We can take him. Get out your machete. Get out your choppy choppy. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. But I wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Makes sense because I don't really have a weapon. And why would you want guns? We can I do it blunt style. Oh yeah, I got my ammo. It's my first weapon. Oh, it's bring back memories from Lee. From Lee, there's a yep. I've learned my lesson. You click immediately. I've learned that lesson. I know. I've done this before. Yeah, I can't fully remember. Oh yeah, there we go. I couldn't fully remember where. Oh, 
Okay, that's the rebot trick. That Bonnie did. Bonnie, you told me so much. Ouchies, what the heck did he hit me with? Oh yeah, I've still got stitches, frick! Why am I doing this? I forgot I've got still got a freaking self-improvised stitched wound. I am a dangerous person. It's five days in that I've got a stitched wound, frick. How's that massive girder lying there? These are... I can't even tell you how strong these columns are. These steel members. And they're just lying there, freaking falling off. It's ridiculous. These, those, those red things are powerful. Wouldn't just be lying there like that. Get your choppy chop. Is somebody behind us? Yeah. How did he get the drop on us? Don't worry, get the choppy chop. Short blunt. Short blunt and short... Um, was it a knife? Blade. I, I thought that would happen to them, not us. I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't think that I could reach. Dude, there's some zombies coming at me. Yeah. Yes, chop chop. Did I get him proper? You. Uh oh. E. I'm getting. Ah. Yo. Good balance, good balance. Oh man, that's that must have hurt. Did he, oh my, I <laughs> lost my weapon. Is she gonna, oh no. We are not doing well at this. Q. Uh, e yeah, I'm so cool. Kick her, kick her in the bum. Watch out! Don't make Luke's mistake. Uh, my goodness. Oh, yum yum! That's a lot of iron supply. Good for the hemoglobin. Reach with the stick. Stick! He's got some nifty tricks. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. But uh, hey, a trick's a trick. And a... <laughs> Where's your choppy chop? Did it fall? He lost. We lost everything. We are bad at this. Thanks, Glenn. Dude, you can throw your ulster away. It's just extra weight now. Let's keep going. Oh, you can eat it. Just boil it soft and eat it because it's leather. There's a trick for you if you're starving. Thank you, Davy Crockett. You taught me so much. Regan eating your leather. You see him? That carver? He looks like a, a, a levo. Just play it cool. You do the talking. He's walking very, very orderly. I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. What should I say? Uh, let's see. I don't know. Ask him for directions. Wow, that's random. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Honesty might help Clementine here. And Luke. Okay, I'm s I made a mistake. Leather isn't edible, but I do know some people have tried eating leather in like sieges and stuff. Okay, if it's not tanned, from what I can see like here. Assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna mess you up. Fair enough. You folks headed north, like everyone else. Why am I out north? north? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. Let's see. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Interesting. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? There's many. There's obviously many people. A lot of people come through here. Yeah. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. Thanks, man. Food. I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Okay, this dude's well, on the level, man. Uh, if he's just like... Well, nice of you. That is. What's the catch? Hey, he got his holster back. He got his machete got back. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. 
Okay. Like I said, it's we've got food and supplies back in the station. Yeah. And if you want... What's he seeing? What the fuck, man? A horde? What the hell is he doing? No! No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. Nick, are you crazy? No! Don't shoot! It's it's Ben too. This guy's Ben too, but he has a gun. I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? He said so. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's this go. dude is Ben. He's Ben number two. I'm not saving you, Nick. You're Ben too. That innocent man. That was horrible. Who the fuck was that back there? It's just a nice man. Like he had a gun on you. So what? No, he, he didn't. Because you oh, were first. I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. I'm sorry, but Shut up, Nick. you shot an innocent man. Yeah, remember that. See, Is that guy gonna shoot? No. Luke, you've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. Yes. Buddy, you are in the wrong. You could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I No, I don't think so. Like I had already envisioned this man in the group. He was so nice. And then you shot him in the throat. Look, can I talk to you alone? <sighs> Nick, you're going to remember that because you've done a big wrong. You did a big wrong, Nick. You did a real big wrong there. You hey, are the Clint. second Ben. Got anything to eat? Bex dying here. Hey, Elvin. I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That was delicious. The man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Exactly. Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Well, uh, thanks, Clem. Bit lazy, bit lazy. I'm, I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to you. Yeah, it's a bit lazy. It's a bit lazy. Fully grown adults just like ah, plop myself down on the ground. You go do everything. Look, I get it. Kids do chores, but bit lazy. Poor, poor role model. Poor role, and you got one on the way. It's poor, poor. Disappointed, my friend. I'm disappointed. That's not good stuff. It's not. It doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't pass the smell test. I don't like it. I don't like somebody with an attitude that says, "Hey, man, you go do everything," and then plops their bum down on the seat like freaking. That could be a trap on the door. So let. Oh, I can't go anywhere else. Let's, I'm sorry. I know it's going to take a minute or two. Let's just go back. I'm going to state my disapproval once again. You. Why would you just plonk yourself down on the seat? Look me in the eyes. That's real lazy disappointed like just walk walk with us look a uh, oh, big chin up chin up you how dare you let's freaking go get out of here um okay i'm a bit lost I'm, I'm a bit disappointed alvin i'm a bit disappointed with that that quick plonk you did there no real offer to help nothing just like ah not not happy it's, it's not good stuff it's whoa why did you close the door now they can't hear you like I'm pretty concerned that there might be a trap. Said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. I'm still concerned there might be a trap. Oh yes! <sighs> oh neat. Oh yeah. Upgrade and I lost my hammer. It, it's a thick blade there. That's a freaking what's that? Like a quarter inch thick blade. It's gonna hold you for quite a long time. It's dead. Dude, it's off. Don't give it uh, what human <laughs> attributes just because you like it. Uh, okay, let's see what he says here. I guess he slept here. 
Well, it slipped. Yeah, because he gone. Because Nick shot him in the throat. I'm still concerned that there might be a trap in here, but let's... I don't want to waste my blade immediately. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We're going to break the blade, aren't we? We're going to break it again. Like, oh, it held. Thank goodness. Now, please don't be ahead. Please don't be ahead. Okay. Oh, there's cats. Oh, yeah. We do. The wizard bambit or gambit. Nick? Dude! Oh, psh, please. Oh. Man, not that we had a bad. Look at this dump. Dude, don't freaking. Guess oh. he did have food. Man, just, fuck Nick. Nick's just lost a lot of his people, him. that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's oh, whoopsie. I'm not sure what. Uh, because there was two he's trying to help us. That was Nick and the other dude. Whoops. Um, let's. Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. Peaches! Oh, delicious. He loved peaches. You can see it. It's like, oh, my favorite. That's funny. She looks just like you. Oh. Um. Hey, Clem. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but, and I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Uh, uh, understand, right? no. The group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. Look, you it's plonked yourself down on that log. He's still, he's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Yeah, Alvin, you're you're giving a bit of a Molly vibe to me. You're just a bit too much in it for yourself. It's a walker. There's many of them. Stop acting like they're new or novel. Hey, I'm right. Yes, it's me. I did it. I predicted them correctly. Yeah, we saw it. Get the machete. I got good sneakers. Just, just take them out. Get the sneakers. It's delicious. It's freaking beautiful. It's new equipment. Wow, we are fast. Yeah, she's gonna be dizzy walking that much uphill. Well, what are we waiting for? Somebody should be ready to catch her. She's gonna drop. Careful. We've been on the road for five days. Mm. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Uh, hey. Nail down tight. What came of the cans? Because Alvin just we didn't really resolve that. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. It's the gunshot to alerted the there. dude. Feel like taking a look? Yeah. yeah. Just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Yeah. yeah. So I met Lee. Whoa. Sure. A lot of steel and there's lightning coming down. So shock re Just take shock it risk. Ooh. Come on. Probably. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, that probably yeah. really helped. Yeah. When I was a kid used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. It's parkour. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. And to keep momentum. Oh! oh, oh, oh. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me. We got right? this. You're fine. We got this. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. <laughs> Oh, I need to be careful of my chuckle. We can what Mickey Mouse is public domain now, but Goofy, I don't know if Goofy is. <laughs> like, ah, you chuckle like Goofy. Um, okay, enough of the panning out. Enough of the panning out. I can see. Dang, he flew away. It could have been good meat. Uh, let's see. Oh, what? Oh, forest. Can't see the forest for the trees. Let's see, okay. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do a bit of panning just to make absolutely sure. So there's just two targets. It's the bridge and then the trees. Let's look it's at the... Really dark. Ah! The gunshot attracted something. Wait, 
I see something. What is it? A light. But wait. At it's the bridge. Another. Luke. Luke. Uh oh, what's going on there? There's a confrontation because of frustration. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think this is the moment. Uh... I saw something there and I think I know what that is. I saw something. Relax. Yep. I see him. I can see him, everybody. I see him. I see him. I know who that is. Yep. Yep. Okay, so you survived. So it's you. Okay. Clementine? Yeah. Just gonna <laughs> Kenny will remember that. <laughs> Breaks the tension between the group, that's for sure. I'll take that as a yes. Ah, the good old music. Oh yeah, you know it, Kenny. Then they're good Talk with me. Shot. Great. I just started dinner. Quick fix. Sure you don't mind. Quick fix, it's everybody. Awesome. Please come in. Tell Kenny about the lights. Oh man, okay, maybe Ben survived too. <laughs> I know he did it. He couldn't have. Uh, but yeah, okay, so at least that clears up Kenny's fate. But I, I've got to, I can't lie. There's been so many videos about him in further seasons that I've gotten my YouTube feed on. It wasn't possible to avoid. There's just too many. So I knew he came back at some point. Weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously. So we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. Beautiful. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But well, after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. Tell him about the lights. Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Okay, I know look they did spend a few weeks or months in the same group. But Kenny and Clementine virtually never had dialogue, so But yeah, you have to assume there was you know some familiarity. Thanks. Buddy, you don't use it well. There's no need to Tell him to put his gun down then. That's Kenny. Do you vouch for these people, Clem? And Kenny got a, a decent beard going. You tell me they're good, then I'm good. us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? <laughs> hey, hey. We're I'm gonna have to do it. I can't speak for everyone. Beck, it's their home. We're not gonna find another place like this tonight. I thought Nick would remember that, not Luke. The Dad, thing is. Look. I'm not gonna lie, I, as Lee, I did save Ben whenever I could. I'm not making that mistake again after what Nick has shown me. So Nick, unfortunately, you, you are a dangerous element in the group. I didn't mean it for Luke, so sorry about that, Luke. It wasn't you, it was Nick. Specifically Nick and his ornament. Because I was generally worried that Nick was gonna pop off again. You already, but oh my goodness! It's not putting it on the bench. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Marvelous. So as I said, I mean, well, obviously, I was Clementine was friendly with Duck, so some of it must have rubbed off on Kenny, the family. But yeah, I didn't. I did, they didn't really have any dialogue between each other in the first season. That I can remember at this point in time. Is that amazing? Yeah, he doesn't know. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? Always. And Lee's you know, gone. I expected to see Lee walk up next to you. I know. You were like two peas in it's it's true. It's really sad. Oh shit! He's gone. I didn't mean to. It's just. It's okay, my friend. It, it's two years ago. I mean, he wouldn't have. Ah. Uh, yeah. He saved me. 
He went to. I knew he would. He went to every he extreme he could, man. Yeah, go Lee. He just wouldn't give up till the very end, until he literally could not get up anymore. My son. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't ask a parent to do that. That's really horrible. Yeah. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Very recently, a few days ago, actually. Just a few days Sounds ago. Like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh hell, all over after Savannah. Yeah. How did you get out of there. Me and Molly. For some reason I tried <laughs> to save that fucking shit bird then. Then it <laughs> into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Yeah. Long story short, I got lucky. Yeah, definitely. Like I was surrounded. It didn't look like anybody could get out of that. I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around. Man, Kenny must of be quite a charmer. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? <gasps> it's like Duck with a detective. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. So I'm currently on a plus one with Luke. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Because I gave him one negative. Oh, I have with dinner. But she's warned nobody about the lights at the bridge. That's the other problem. Hey, Clementine, settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. You are forgetting about the lights at the bridge. What is that? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. Mm. I met him after it happened. Yeah, just Quite after. Shortly. Quite shortly Matthew after. Told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Where's Matthew? Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It's a hippie teacher. Uh, that's one thing. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Yeah, you do Perturabo style. Go Perturabo. That's his greatest advantage. Everybody um, underestimate him. Let's just have a word, or a moment of respect for Perturabo. <laughs> <laughs> for his style. Um, uh, well, let's just say what that. What is this? Le Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. Okay. It's peaches and beans. I know. That's all we got. The legumes are the beans and the peach roux, which is the sauce. You probably mashed up some... Oh, what is it with everybody? Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. Dude, the hot plate. Dude, the hot plate. Don't leave a hot plate on. Switch off the freaking hot plate. Switch the freak. Did he leave the salt on the pan? Get this thing turned off. We're gonna burn this whole freaking house down. And nobody knows about the lights in the bridge. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Cool. That's back when there was still optimism in the world. Um, Kenny! Where's I need Kenny? Kenny, we don't have light. I mean, there's lights at the bridge. Where's Kenny? I need to find Kenny. Where's Kenny? I need to tell him there's freaking lights at the bridge. There's probably... We're not gonna get dinner. We're gonna get attacked. I'm sure of it. Where's freaking Kenny? Of all people... Ke Okay, let's look at the map. We're in big trouble. I can sense it. We're in big trouble. We need. To, I need to tell people that freaking there's lights at the bridge. We're already putting light up. 
Why does this... I can't change my fate. This is so frustrating. I can't do anything to change my fate. Sarita, please listen to me. We've got lights at the bridge. I need to tell you something. Why are you forgetting? It must be incredible to see him again. There is lights. He's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how do you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Which city? Hold up. You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of didn't our say which which tree. I mean which city. But I still love the decorations. There are people at the bridge. Please. Why can't I talk to anybody about it? It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Please talk about the lights at the bridge. Luke said you saw some people in the valley. Yes. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. <coughs> Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? Walter, you Walter, didn't tell Walter. About us, did you? Who's Walter you again? Be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah. That's well, not the professor. Look, I don't care what that man said. We stand here. <coughs> Was making the food. Talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Oh, hopefully they have water. Look, the power grid's down, so it's not just something that we can take for granted. Oh, friggin' you, you running water. Power, all that stuff, it ain't so easy. Hey, come back here. Put it on there. Where's the, I'm going to fall down and I'm going to hurt myself. She's going to slip. She's going to fall. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. Marvelous. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. They are okay. Well, I, f I can calm down. I can calm down. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind. But they can't help it. It is dangerous. I agree. Look at what happened at the bridge. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. It's okay. Kind of our little war. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on. Long walks. He and Rita um, vacation here. He should be back soon. And that makes no freaking sense. Two years in, I wanted to you don't you, take long walks. Does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before. And, well, um, he has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He does seem different than I remember. What's with the face? Sure. He seems more soft well, you three have been busy. than Kenny used to be. Isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think yeah, I he does seem a bit more soft. I said I got it. Whoa, okay, that's a bit of the old Kenny. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? But, but I was just there. No, I refuse. What about my CD? Hey, don't I still have my CD? The heck? Ah, uh, ski shop. There's nothing there. It's just like the pharmacy. And we never held the pharmacy down at good old Macon. We didn't do it. We didn't hold it down. It's terrible. We, we held nothing down. Even the mansion in Savannah is empty. It's just, okay, let's, just, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's aggravate everybody. Yeah, let's put it in there. Oh, it's because it's old technology. But she was... Oh, it's playing music, okay. 
This is 2013, 2014, and she's 11 now. So she's born 2002. So she's a Zuma. Clementine's a Zuma. It's not like Bart. Bart? Uh, Bart Simpson, if I recall correctly, he's been Gen X, Millennial, Gen Y, and well, not or Gen Z, and he's now a Gen Alpha because he just doesn't age. <laughs> he just floats through all the gen the generations. Uh, and he looks like at CDs like what the heck is all this? Hello, you still you doing okay? Would it be a good time to confront her about about the baby? I don't know. Let, let's see. Maybe it's, let, let's let's see if we can wangle out a little bit of leverage here. We might be able to. You look real sad. She does look very sad. Don't be so sad. It's okay. I mean, you got light. You got running water. What's that? Wish we had one of those for dinner. Oh, uh, uh, uh. dang, Venice. Yeah, that would have been good. Let's talk to you. How you doing? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? Well, you've got Alvin. How can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. Look, I mean, we, dude, why are you acting this way? Like humanity has gone through some tough times. We're just soft. That's all. But we we got a decent amount of resilience. I gotta say, it's significantly less than I would have thought, but we still have some. So. good, <laughs> It's okay. Can I? Yeah, man. Who knows? You might never. I don't know if if Krista did that, but. She's gonna be a runner. She. It's not his. Whoa! Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. Well, I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. He won't do that. He's he's a nice dude. There's my man. But right. you gotta tell him the truth. Just need to get some food in. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Oh, well, good. Everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. I'm surprised that she told me that. That's a real. My leverage is gone, so that's the song. But hey, I'm I'm surprised it's, it took the wind out of my sails there. Okay, they like it. Beans and peaches. Who would have known? So he's good at turning yeah. some pretty bad food into good food. Yeah. I missed my rifle. I I that trigger. Me too. Just try to forget about it. That dude had two right, cans in his house, and he was willing to share it with us. He was a real nice guy. He might have actually been part of Kenny's group, but that, that looks doubtful. <sighs> Kenny, nothing personal, but these people took me in, so I'm sorry, but I'm gonna go with this one. This is gonna be harsh, but it is what it is. So sorry, Kenny. I would like to, but unfortunately, it's a tough choice. Kenny, I know, I know. I'm not, I don't want to be rude to you, but... So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this, Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I hate that I had to do that, but... I trust him. I don't feel bad for... I think so. How should I say? It, it's, it's a difficult choice. I'm cool with Kenny, but it's been two years, so. Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family. Yeah. Wife and kid. He didn't handle it okay. I don't know what to say there because none, no, nothing there is really good. Kenny, Kenny struggles. I was worried about Kenny. Goodness, was I worried when we got into Savannah? I was freaking worried Kenny was gonna. Really, he looked like he was at his last Hope straw like there for a while. Oh, I'm glad Kenny came over, right. but he will remember that still. And beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on and the decent out, sugar, though. decent protein, so... <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Nick! You guys sure 
I, I, I can't help it. It's that what it's that Grim and Evil, Grim and Evil cartoon where the dude just goes, "It's Nick." So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winner? Actually, we were thinking of moving on somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Mm. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold ass winter, so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Whoa! Listen, vanilla ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's Man, the these guys are quickly it's heating up. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Whoa! Fine, We're not staying. She's staying. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Luke, listen to him. I have been, but Kenny's my friend. Don't say that he'll remember that. No need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, Duck. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny. Duck? Who's Duck? Was his son. Yeah, man. Oh, that's rough. Hey, Clementine. Would that's you, two uh, years in. It's can he still? It makes sense. Like that, that's everything. That's that's a man reaching for his whole world, right there. It's real sad. Oh, <sighs> dang. I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground. Soon. Weird texture for these rocks on the side. But that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. You can see it's a flat texture. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I yeah, man. Stay with you and Kenny. Then stay. You Wait, are all two groups no splitting up? I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. This is a horrible moment. Oh, you telling me I have to choose? But I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. What? In the end, we can't change the world. We've been they've been bumped down the Maslow's hierarchy to survival. How can they be political? All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? I would not say that. Well, we have plenty of time. I would definitely not say that. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. War is the extension of politics by other means. So I would definitely not say that. As long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? I'll say right just for his optimism. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Yeah, where, where's Matthew? You talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you. I'm worried about your friend. But yeah, not for one second would I say that. Matthew will be back soon. Wars when thinking fails. No, hey, wars when thinking's forced to continue past an impasse. Oh, politics. Well, yeah, there you go, Cla Karl von Clausewitz. Wars the continuation of policy by other means. And if I recall, ah. Shit no more. Yeah. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Yeah. Freaking what Carl von Clausewitz with his treatise on war was that. And he also wrote what was it? It is to force your Miss. political opponent to accept your your viewpoint. No, it's Bonnie What happened at your camp? Please, do you have any food? This is amazing. I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss Bonnie? Is she telling the truth? What? This is amazing. No. Everybody, it's way. another 400 day it's link. Fine, we don't know this girl. I do. We have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Always. Yeah. Bonnie! Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. Checking you for weapons will take five seconds, so you don't have to do that. cooperate. Oh, no, it's fine. 
What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. My people, weapons, or food? <laughs> Sorry about that, I got a bit distracted there, but that freaking, that quote got me. I have a Do not agree with that at all. What? Uh, oh, is it, um, Shell's li little sister? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Oh, okay. Okay, so Bonnie's there, which means it's the group that went, so it's not Russell and Vince, because they went somewhere else. This is pretty cool that they tied in the DLC with this. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just this is a bit much. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. It's a bit intense. It's a, it's a lot of stuff. Go inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. I understand. Like Walt, that's a bit over the top. The other dude had two cans. You freaking gave a whole box away. What the heck? And look, whoa! Don't freak out. A walker? Listen, hey, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. <sighs> See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I was not sure about now that. I'm worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I did not figure I that out. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything because of our group. If he finds out anyway. Well, then we're fucked. But okay, I'd like to tell the truth, but I don't think the truth is a good thing at this now, point. Do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two it's with the other weapons. Was wasn't there a, a, a okay. embroidery on it? Now I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. Yes, What's Nick. Up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah. Let's do yeah, that. Something like that. Luke. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. Matt, right, you don't trust me. Now? Okay, I'm gonna listen. It's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing. All right. Yeah. Come on, Nick. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just a little bit hold off. I'm not for Nick's favor, more for the group because Nick, you doomed us all. Possibly. I doubt that they chase us out, but frick, this game is putting a. Where's the knife? No directions. Is it missing? Oh no! Somebody it's could gone. have searched through already. Probably not. Well, oh no! Okay. Maybe he doesn't identify it. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's drunk. Maybe. <laughs> we have no idea. Hello! Yep, it's. it's I knew it had some. Uh, the names on it. Imagine that. Put the knife down. Walter? Hey man, it's got a good old... Like got a good old Siggy going. Whoa. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Okay, that's he, fast. Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier or something about shooting a man. I could see it. I can see it on his face. The peaceful man. But now, there's no way that I could tell him that. I've got his knife. It was us. It was us. There's no way, cause we've we've got the knife. He knows. I'm sorry. There's no way we could trick him. I'm sorry. I am. Uh, I don't feel good. I know. I know, bro. When he, he's got the knife, he knows. There's no way I could trick him at this point. And he's got the cigarette, so at least he's calming down a little. Just pull, pull good. Pull, but that Matthew McConaughey meme. Just pull, pull. Pull the friggin... Pull it, no, pull. Take another toke. Where's option three? Take another toke. There's no, there's no take another toke. Take another pull. <laughs> I can't recommend more, more nicotine.
Yo, he's gone cynical. Ooh, hello. He was always going out alone. I told him so. <laughs> he wouldn't listen. He was too nice. That makes sense, cause both of you are too nice. You need to get out of here. Yeah, of all the people to be here, the peace is gonna stop right now. This world is hell. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's gone. The climax. What did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you hurt Matthew? He didn't just hurt him. All that talk about peace out the window as soon as you've got the weapon in your hand, huh? Okay. I'm surprised. Whoa. Then he regrets throwing it away. Well, what's going on? The wind's too strong. The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Dave, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? Plural? <laughs> just not not just one? That thing's a damn dinner bell. The thing is loud, but now we're gonna basically waste all that power. What? The hell was that? Is the military back? <clears throat> Transformer must have gone. Oh, then it's all over anyway. There's no way we're gonna be able to fix it. Okay, open the door, break the light on top, because that's just a freaking drawing hazard. What's out? There could be a zombie in there. Does anyone know how to do this? Well, from movies, you just shoot it. I can do it. <coughs> okay, we'll watch your back. How on earth am I supposed to know how to do it? <coughs> there could be a zombie in there. Okay, thank goodness. Needs a key. There's gonna be a zombie coming around the corner. Woo! No more power for life. We're not turning that thing on again. I hear a gargle. Well, obviously, we can hear the gargle. Three. We can handle. Okay, eight, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh you know. No, go get the weaponry. Why does nobody want to do melee in this? Oh goodness. Okay, I'm probably gonna join in too. Where's my weaponry? Where's Kenny? And Walter. I'm surprised Walter stuck to his guns all the way, because he was just like... I thought he might be like the, ah, oh, pace, pace is all good, and then suddenly, no. Uh oh. Woo! Number one! That's, those aren't people, those are walkers. Uh, am I not hitting them in the heads? No, no, no hit shots to me. There we go. Not a lot left. Run! For some reason, the hit shots at the start didn't count that much. Another FRS. Freaking bank employees everywhere. Run, go. Run, oh no! Oh, we had a sidearm ready. <coughs> Oh no, the other one had a gun, that freaking zombie had a firearm. Well, the zombies are training, they're getting better. Direction? Direction, give me a direction. There's another one coming. Q E Please hurry up! 
Wow. Was that a 308 caliber? The heck? Uh, go get that. I always opt for melee. Hello, stab him. Oh, jeez. Look at all stubber stubber. Did you leave the knife? Oh, no. Left the knife too. It's, it's important. Um, I have no idea what to do now. Hey! I, I couldn't help him either. Okay, less guilt about that. We've lost a lot of people. I don't know. Okay, I don't agree with that. You didn't see him? Clem. <laughs> Buddy, the lying part I can't agree with. You lied. I'm I'm not ex You could say you could have said he got bitten, but the fact that he even lied about it that's too much. Is that Carver? That's Carver. There's always somebody with an unfair advantage, and this this seems to be Carver. It's gotta be. Yep. Hey, Bonnie's with Carver. Hey, hey. They are smart. Oh, because it was me, Walter, and Kenny, so nobody there could identify it. Nobody there knew. Carver. It's nice to see you too. But oh, jeez! But so Bonnie ends up in this group, and that's about two years in. So that's about seven hundred and thirty days, three hundred days after the four hundred days. So yeah, that's a lot of time to go by. So we just have no idea of estimating that. So Bonnie could have split with Shell. And what's what's the other one? Shell, Shell sister, and Wyatt. There we go. Because that's that's basically almost another four hundred days that have gone by. Look, Clem, you did the right thing. Ah, Walter, you shouldn't have lied. When Walter lied, that's when I was like, nope. Now I've got a new enemy. Did I tell her my name? I can't remember. I oh, know I told um, Matthew my name. You leave this fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. Fucking huge. Why did that help? You look funky, bro. He's got a funky face. He's like, Arr, what's going on in this world? It's inquisitive. Elvin, what are we supposed to do with... There's nothing we can do. Man, how the fuck are we going to cover these guys and look for them too? What, what are we supposed to do? Tommy, cover that window. Like, they've obviously got us outmatched. So there's nothing we can really do. Are you going to drop some, some cans on them or something? There's nothing we can do. Oh no, they're tying them up. Okay, okay, okay. Now we gotta make a plan. The tying up starts. I hope she doesn't go into labor right now because that'd be the most inconvenient thing possible. Where is she? Where? Where's Kenny? The Kenny Carver showdown would be the best. Where you going? Don't do it again. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Listen, I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's Rebecca? Ask again. Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. That's a weird one. Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. You show your faces. Don't hurt my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. Yes. Yes, you can. Back, <clears throat> baby. You need a 
doctor. No, where is Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. Yes. The only way to help him is to do what the man says. Yes. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If he starts shooting, and people are going to die on both sides. <laughs> Yo. Clem can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she going to do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop. Don't hurt my dad. Look, they've got a large amount of automatics. We're not going to overturn this. No, the blade. Okay. He'll kill him, Beck. He's gonna kill him, Rebecca. We have to give up. I know, but you have to give up. Bill, stop! Ah. Bill. Ah. Only she can call him by his by his first name. If anybody else does it, he'll he'll, he'll kick you in your teeth, throw you down the stairs, man. He'll beat you up good. Whoa! Dude, these fingers are busted up. Clem, can you reach my hands? To fix the fingers? Everything under control? I'll try. Hello, Beardman. Beardman takes a notice, but he's hungry. Oh! Oh no, the dude, the dude with the funky look. Inquisitive man. Why did I say oh no? I'm not relating to these people. Why am I <laughs> even doing that? I guess I'm just taking everybody's side. <laughs> Okay, interesting choice. Look, I don't want to see me freaking what Walter get taken out or anything. I just... Oh! No! Walter! That's for our man. Now okay. Now do this. Math. But you ain't leaving me much choice. He does some math. So here's what's gonna happen. You think they can hear I'm you? There's another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. <laughs> Probably Carlos. Out. Your choice. Oh, why is there a bullet? Because he's gonna still say one bullet for a bullet. Bill, no. Tell him to stop. Oh no, beard man. Stop. You remember George Alvin? No. You see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... You couldn't find form. Civil. <laughs> Bill, no. We'll do whatever you want. Protect Alvin. How would I protect him? Bill, please. Um, I honestly don't know what to say here. Whoa, they took Carver down. No, you're leaderless. It's like a hive mind. They've lost the nodes. Oh, goodness. Well, bullet for bullet. He knows his math. He knows his math. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, not Serena. No, he goes all the way up to the edge. Oh man, it is Kenny. Wait, where's Luke then? Beardman! It's only Beardman holding it down. Where's Bonnie? That's Luke. Oh, where's Luke then? Look, where's Kenny, Luke? you're two casualties in. I mean, one casualty and you wounded him, so I doubt that he's gonna let you live. I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. I mean, if it's missed shots, yes, but those weren't missed shots. <laughs> oh man! All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. There's not many of them left. I gotta say. But where's Luke? So technically we outnumber them. We're just unarmed. 
uh, depending on what they have waiting for us at camp. But it would be surprising if they didn't come at us with their full strength. And they were nice enough to still take care of all the zombies for us. So, yeah, some, so yay, May, and next time, let's see. There's Kenny again. Hello. Sarita, Alvin's gone. L freaking Nick's gone. That was fast. I and don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. Thank that he mean by that. Let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters. Whoa, it's a big camp. They all have a vital role to play in this community. That's forced labor. They strayed from the flock, yeah. That don't mean they can't earn their way back in. Yeah, with the forced labor. I don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them. Ah. Collab between season one and DLC. Surely wish that they had. Oh, gave him a Pelton. A storm is on the way. Hey, wait a minute. Home supply. Doesn't that have something to do with the TV show? That one where the helicopter was landing on the, or landed on the roof. Gives me that feel. Okay, let's see. You and a 48.9% of players took the blame. I must admit, I am. These decisions are so 50 50. They're not as interesting as the ones in season one. Who did you sit with at dinner? So, yeah, we did a little bit less there. Um, a lot of people were just like, hey man, it's Kenny. But look, I, I, I've already made some inroads with the new group, so I couldn't just be like, oh, bye bye. Um, let's see. Who told Walter the truth about Matthew? Yep, and I don't know. Do you would he have saved Nick or would he have failed in it? Ah, that's actually a good point. But as I said, I don't think we could have lied to him and fooled him at that point. So no idea. Forgiveness, Nick's fate. You and forty-two point seven percent players let Walter make up his own mind. Well, that's true, and I mean, he did, he, he chose peace, but then he chose pacifism as well, which, same result eventually. Uh, bravery left to find Kenny. Yeah, but, did it seem like it was even possible? Like, it just seemed so impractical. At least we saved Carlos, because it looked like he was going to take out Carlos soon. He really switched up fast to take out Matthew and Alvin after that. But okay, okay, so... As this episode of season two. So yeah. A lot of things learned and a lot of people. We lost a lot of people real fast. Shifted venues real fast. It just it just went. It just went zip zap zoop and it was done. It's freaking amazing. Um what what's now? What now? We lost Pete. Oh goodness. We lost everything this freaking fast. Ah, oh, it's the song. Okay, Eric Parsons again. I need to Google that up. Because I think that was also for season one. But... Yeah, frick. We, let me just cycle through, because that was a big adventure. We lost Pete. The stranger came in, and then we went running up. Then we freaking lost Matthew. Goodness me. Met Kenny. Lost Nick soon after. Lost Walter, lost Alvin. It's fast, it went fast. It went real fast, but it didn't look like we had any way of defeating Carver. Carver looks like no matter what we would have done, he would have... Like, I probably had no way of fighting him if I tried to take that knife in the kitchen. So, he looks like just one of those villains that sort of pushed the way through until the plot finds a way. If ever. Big surprise that he's got Bonnie. Really makes me wonder what happened to Wyatt and Shell and Shell's sister. Because they could also be there. But yeah. Ah, it's going to be a tough one. Peaceful music. Oh, 
Okay, sorry about that, that's a long load, a long load, what now, what's up, there we go, okay, so sorry about that, I just wanted to have that run out, man, it was a long one, okay, thank you very much everybody, it's been Edward of Tried with another episode of The Walking Dead Season 2, it's, it's been, it's been a rush, it's been a real rush, so thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode, so, very good day, and this has been Edward Tide. Bye-bye.